Right, this is a special reading. This is where is Venus in your natal chart? Okay, so there's a Venus retrograde going on, and it's going on in Capricorn. Shout out to Capricorns, happy belated birthday. <laughs> and um, now it's in Aquarius. Happy birthday to all the Aquarius out there. Happy Aquarius season. And so find where Venus is in your natal chart. It could be an air sign. It could be an earth sign. It could be in a fire sign. It could be in a water sign. Who knows? But this is a reading. So if it's if I'm mentioning Aries, I'm mentioning that you have Aries, a Venus in Aries. If I'm mentioning uh, Cancer, that means you have your Venus and cancer all right and this is what's going to tell you what's going to be going down and february 14th is coming up so some people celebrate valentine's day some people don't do what you do <clears throat> but everybody wants to know about love right everybody wants to know about love even if you are in love you're still looking to see about you know what's present what's in the future etc why you in this type of love so people want to be loved, especially for the past two years with all this separation, you know, um, being forced upon everybody and all that good stuff. Um, it's keeping people separate and we're going to be seeing the consequences of that soon, okay? And we're already seeing the consequences of it, but it's going to get worse, okay, if, if everything keeps going the way it's going. So at this point, people are looking for love, want love, want to improve love. Um, may say, hey, I don't want to love a person, but love a, per a particular thing, a particular um, project that I want to do, that um, I love, you know, get into something I love, whatever it is, or it, just to increase your love, you know, maybe you feel like uh, you're just cold as ice, you know what I mean? So, and, and Capricorn, to Venus and Capricorn, it, is, it can kind of feel like that, it really can, because Cap is a cold place. <laughs> It's a cold place, so imagine Venus in a cold place, you know, unless she dipped out in her furs and whatnot, you know what I mean? She, she minked out and whatnot, and for all the, the um, animal people, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it was back in the day. And now that we got new technology, you can go with the fox fur. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, you know, this is that time for everybody, you know, for the next, um, you know, 15 days, you know what I mean? So, and then after that hits Valentine's Day, so some realizations is gonna be done, some things are gonna be coming to an end, you know what I mean? Some things are gonna be set in stone, some boundaries are gonna be drawn, some structure and organization and relationships is gonna be done, you know, with everybody's gonna be more looking to that long lasting type stuff, foundational, strong, can't nothing break it, you know? People would want that, and if they don't want that, they are not willing to, sacrifice okay so um and if you are in a relationship or whatever you're trying to fill out how can i you know separate because this is just not right you know what i mean this is not practical <laughs> you know so it's it's in the air so if you're feeling like that no matter what your venus is in whatever zodiac sign your venus is it's just the overall energy period and it's sitting there so it want, it's like rubbing it in you know it's like somebody putting um salt on a wound you know it's gonna burn you know you might want to punch the person for doing that or somebody crack put something back in place and they gotta snap it and it was painful for that two seconds but oh my gosh after you know you settled in everything is cool you know so it's kind of like that right now so um tough love <laughs> that's another way to put it tough love so let's get started into everybody's reading. Um, this is going to be Venus and whatever Venus is in your chart, that zodiac sign. All right, Venus and Aries. This is for a reading for Venus and Aries for the Venus, Venus retrograde in Capricorn. So you got the three of pentacles. So right on with it, you know. Um, whatever, whoever you're collaborating with, whoever you're doing business with, whoever your partner is, whoever you feel your partner is, um, whatever you got your eyes on, uh, whatever project that you're trying to get in, even if it's new or already in it, it doesn't matter. 
um, it's working out, okay? It's organized, it's structured, you know, um, it's practical, it makes so much sense, you know, all the wheels are turning, nothing's squeaking, you know, um, everything is right in its place, you know, all the dust is being taken off, you know, because some things when you take it off the package, it's still kind of dusty, you kind of got to blow off, you know, all the um, wood dust or metal dust or whatever, so all the dust is being cleared out, and like I said, you can relate this to, you know, a relationship, um, a friendship, um, Anybody that you're doing business with, a collaboration, an organization, your, if a community thing, everything is working in your favor. You might be living in a uh, uh, in your community, but it's that it's the right place. It's like okay, yeah, this is this is the the place I need to be in, or the area I need to be in, in order to get my mind right, in order for me to move to the next step. Even if it's something like that, it's working. Like whatever you put it into plan or to place. It is working and, and the other people that are helping you, um, maybe giving you advice, maybe, um, you know, um, giving you, you know, signs and signals and stuff like that. Um, it's all coming together. Like you can see the bigger picture. You can see the idea. You have a plan. You have a blueprint. You know what I mean? And you're going with that blueprint and you found that blueprint and other people that's um, around you who have the same type of knowledge, the same type of ambition. Um, maybe not the same goals, but that same passion or that same, they doing their thing, they just in their own sector. They looking at you like, yeah, keep it going. Now, other people might not see it or other people not appreciate it, but others who have that type of mentality or that type of moral value system or whatever, they seen it within you. So it might be in a small percentage, but honey, take that, you know, take it, appreciate that and keep working, you know, towards your goals. On the other side, you might be frustrated because this is what you should be doing or what it should be feeling like or what you should be seeing, but it's not, you know, everything is out of whack, everything is in chaos and you're going to feel it because Venus with this energy is just, it doesn't like chaos at all. So if you do have chaos, you're going to feel it because the energy around you don't like it. So you're going against it. Um, so that's something that you're going to have to definitely look into and restructure, redo the blueprint. You know, like they say, you know, measure twice, you know, cut once, you know, measure three times and then cut once. You know, however it is, if you might be still in that, that phase, you might be still erasing some things, scratching out some things, editing things like, OK, no, I'm going to do normal change. You know, and that's all cool. Keep it going. You just just in the baby stages of it but before you know it you're gonna see the wonderful outcome and it's gonna feel so good so balanced you know like it's gonna make sense you know it's gonna um it's gonna benefit you you know this is all about I don't mean to sound selfish but this is just the energy it's all about what can benefit you however there's a percentage level don't be going out there just using people okay and just being all vampire-ishy no we're not doing that because you know what I'm saying this thing moves fast and this is a time of time. Oh, please. So, um, yeah, so that's you, Venus and Aries. So take it easy. It is about that tough love. It is about that, you know, if you got to do tough love on yourself, sometimes you got to say no even to yourself because it's in the best benefit of your goal. Have a good one, Aries, Venus and Aries. Bye-bye. This is for, you have Venus and Taurus, this is for you. Um, since we're going through this Venus retrograde in Capricorn, um, and we only got uh, about a week and a day left until Venus wants to keep on moving, but right now she's staying stable. So some things need to be done, okay? Because um, it is in Cap, we just got through Capricorn season and we've, we're in Aquarius season now. So let's take a look and see what's going on, which is the Justice card. So you got the 11 uh, card here, um, Venus and Taurus. Um, some some things is going to have to be judged, whether it's you, somebody judging you, or you making a judgment on someone else or something or some place. Because you might have to make a judgment call. I'm not going to this place no more. I'm not seeing this person no more. I'm not, you know, um, eating this thing anymore. Whatever it is, you're making that judgment call. Or like I said, something could be somebody or some things could be making a judgment on you. But however, there is compassion. So have compassion 
um, with yourself if you are making changes in your life in order to balance it you know what I mean are you you are the judge you know what I mean so and you have to make the right decision for your life and everybody likes to watch the judges on TV and whatnot and court and this that and the other and every time somebody goes to court that's famous everybody seems to be interested in it but what about you taking yourself to court <laughs> you know what I mean split yourself into three ways and you know just start to play yourself in court or you could be going through a legal situation um now it's a lot of tax season time and um legal time and all these different types of things so you might be going through something or you can feel feel like it's about to happen or whatever the situation is compassion is being put upon you so if somebody is judging you they will judge you with compassion they will be understanding about it they will be very practical about it it's going to make sense why and it's like you're going to see why they came to that conclusion even if you're mad about it because you might have to you know do some community service or you might have to pay a fine or you might have to um you know swallow your pride because somebody put you in your place you know what i mean but at the end of the day you know it's true so they have a compassion for you so it's up to you to take that information and balance it you know the information that's going on around you right now you know since it's in record retrograde venus take a look at your past what you loved in the past what what would um what you're interested to, what you value, you know, start looking back there if you lost your way. Always, you know, take a look back. It's okay to take a look back. Um, that's what the retro rates are for. Um, just to, you know, put you on hold for a minute. Are you valuing the right things? Are you making the right decisions? You know, are you comfortable even? And if you're not, Ooh, you probably feel real uncomfortable right now. <laughs> you know, and that could mean anything. Finances, your job, your relationship, whatever. Are you even that? It's time to make that balance, all right? Have a good day and night, Venus and Tauruses. Okay, this is for if you have Venus and Gemini. Um, for the retrograde and Venus and Capricorn right now. You got about a week and you're battling okay it's a, it feels like a battle love feels like a battle um to love something someone something it seems like a battle um but uh, it's it's not taking it as serious as it can where you know you want to draw blood <laughs> things like that but it might just be tit for tat bickering you know like some old petty stuff you know just real light that it can be squashed real quick so whatever that is, um, I'm definitely resolve it. You know, it could be a competitive thing too. Like who can, um, maybe somebody's in love with someone else, you know, and you're, or with someone else, but you are in love with this person and this person's in love with you and you're battling, you know, right now, it could be a situation like that. It could be battling, um, your family, maybe your family wants you to stay and you want to leave. Um, and that could be uh, you know, with your mom or dad or it could be your husband or whatever. But you're passionate about this battle and you, you your goal is to win. You know, even if it's some petty stuff or whatever or it's light, you know, struggles. It's still light and, um, and you still want to win either way. Um, it's not too, too deep where you're staying up at night. You know what I mean? And, and some of you might be at that point, but don't come back, you know, keep it light. You like, and by keeping it light, you'll be able to um, think clearer too. You'll be able to have some kind of um, stronger foundation on what you want to do um, as far as putting in your passions, putting in what you love to do, you know, what stirs you up, <laughs> you know what I mean? So what gets you going, you know, what gets you just, um, just get you up in the morning you know that's that's it right there so whatever that is whatever changes or decisions that you have to make you're in this retrograde because retrograde when it comes to the matters of the heart and it doesn't have to be in a person it could be even in your environment maybe you're sick and tired of your environment and your heart wants to go somewhere else and you're battling a bit with that you know so this this next you know 14 days i mean um i said 14 days not 14 days um seven days eight days that's going to definitely give you some time to um take a look at yourself and 
see what kind of changes that you need to battle for, you know, and to make you happy, to make you win. Have a good day and night, Gemini and Venus. Okay, this is for Venus and Cancer. If in your natal chart you were born with Venus and Cancer, you got the King of Pentacles. So you are very abundant when it comes to love and what you appreciate and what you value. You know exactly what you want. You're going out and getting it and you got it, right? And you, you're chilling with it. You're happy with it. You're content with it. Um, you done built it. You know, whatever your love is, whatever um, your heart is going towards, whatever is getting your heart um, fluttering and beating and, and excited and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so it, it, you have it. And if you haven't you got it, you know, Venus is going to be in retrograde for another eight days. So definitely put in time in what you love and what you value and what you appreciate. And it's in Cancer. So, you know... Um, definitely balance those emotions so if you I mean um, your Venus is in, in cancer so go ahead and, and balance those emotions don't let your emotions take over it's more about doing than anything you know it's about action you know in order to have something that's structured because those who already took action are already seeing the structures right shout out to you guys so and you can see the benefits of it and you, you you're you're and this is a good time too, um, this is during a full moon, to like meditate on what you have done. Kind of look back in the past and see, you know, how your love and how your passion for this person, place, or thing have gotten you to where um, you're, you're happy, you're content. You got everything that you need from it. You know, it's flourishing, it's thriving on its own so much so that you can relax a bit, you know? And if you do have it, that Venus and Capricorn and everything is working out really well for you, you know, don't get um, too egotistical about it either. You know, don't be like, ah, because you might be the one that like to brag all the time. You know, this is really not the time to be doing all that, you know, but it's a good time to kind of look back at your life and be like, oh, this is great. This is what this love and value, what I value, what I appreciate has gotten me and what I put my time and attention to to make sure that it is sound, that it is structured, that it is practical. Because honey, if it's not practical right now, I mean, yeah, this, this retrograde is not going to be working either way. It has to be something that makes sense. You know what I mean? Whatever you love has to make sense while you love it. Okay. Have a good day and night. This is Venus in Cancer. All right, Venus and Leo, what's around? So you got the Tower card here. So the Tower card is just basically telling you something has got to go. Something has got to go. Something has got to be torn down. Something has got to get out of your life ASAP. Yeah, so Leo, something has definitely have gotten to go. And if you don't do it, the universe will definitely do it for you. But even though that sounds easy, oh yeah, that's cool. No, it's not because you ain't going to see it coming. You know, it's kind of like a thief in the night. You're not going to see it coming. And you feel it, but you ain't going to know when, how, what. And usually when the universe does it, you're not prepared for it. So it puts you into some chaotic moments. And this is not the time to be chaotic with Venus in retrograde. We've got about eight days left. So you should be spending your time and attention on what you love and what you value and get rid of everything else. All right. If it's not practical in your life, it's time for it to go. You know, if it doesn't make sense, you know, it has to go. You know, if you ain't feeling it like that, like that, it's time for it to go. So, and um, Mercury is in retrograde and it's a full moon during this time. So it's a perfect time to reanalyze what you love, to reanalyze what could benefit you um, now and in long term. And this is a good time for you to organize your love. Have a good day and night. Venus in Leo. All right, this is for, we have Venus in Virgo. Um, this is for the Venus retrograde in Capricorn. Venus in Virgo people, okay, all right. I, what else could I say? The Queen of Wands, all right. So you are just out there, okay. Are you pregnant? Or is somebody pregnant? Okay, well, I'm just saying because, you know, this is fertility as well. 
So I just want you know, to let you know that. But honey, you are growing in your your in who you are. You know who you are. Um, you are very courageous, very determined. Um, you express yourself very eloquently. I mean, you can get what you want right now, okay? It is it's in retrograde in Capricorn. So, um, yes, you have built that foundation already. But, you know, this is a good opportunity um, with the full moon um, time that you can just go within. And whatever is within, like your dark side, your shadow side, kind of bring that out a little bit. Don't get pregnant, though. You know, strap it up, you know, male and female. But bring it out. You might be... You might have like um, um, a dark secret that you've been holding on to, but now is the time you want to write something about it um, or um, paint about it or create a dance about it or whatever your outlet would be. Maybe even if it's to get, you know, some therapy so that you can be comfortable, you know, with the dark side of yourself, the shadow side of yourself. Um, this is a good time to look at, you know, any kind of flaws that you want to work on that you may be not so confident in but that's the thing that you want to put your time and your attention into so you might want to do that you know you might just have like you know a, a, a really dark sense of humor or just really quirky and you know whatever and it's just something that you don't want people to know about and you know this is a good time to just you know express it you know you're able to think clearer now um you're able to get over the mountains and the mole hills and even if you don't feel you know um, all like all that all that you know what I mean this is a good chance for you to work on it since everything is slowing down slow down with a retrograde of Mercury retrograde of Venus um, and um, it's a full moon time even though it's going into Aquarius it's perfect because you got perfect time to really think about other things that you want to do with your life other things that you that you you're passionate about that you want to you know start or get into this is perfect for you so go ahead with your bad self <laughs> venus and virgo have a good day and night okay this message is for venus and libra for the retrograde of venus being in capricorn so you have your hands full already and you might be turning away opportunities because you already know your plate is full. Like, okay, these cups in front of me are full and you know, I can't take them more, even though it's a good opportunity. But if I do, then I might end up knocking over these three cups. So let me just wait and see, or let me just say no, period. So you're looking at different opportunities, whether it's in people, places, or things, and it's um, other things are being handed to you. It might be people coming back from the past, but you're saying no. You know, because you've been hurt by them in the past and nothing seemed to, you, you know, when you know, when you know it's just not going to work anymore. That could be happening or you could be in that situation and you're still trying to think, okay, should I go back? Should I this and this, that and the other? So you're going within to figure out what is good and what is not good for you because all opportunities are not necessarily good opportunities for you, especially if you want to be in a certain place or have certain goals things like that you have to look at things around you that's being presented to you or offered to you whatever that may be and look at the consequences for your decisions in the long run and that takes some internal work it takes some grounding that takes some you know going within to see what yourself truly feels that it needs to do and what it needs to accept and what it needs to say no to have a wonderful day and night libra and venus